Hello guys, hola amigos and welcome to another video. Today we're going to look at the different types of meat in weight shows and what you should avoid. Please like, subscribe and share the video and let's get on with it. So let's start with the essential range at weight shows. I want to take my hat off to weight shows. Their chickens, even at the bottom end, have very, very high welfare standards and are treated very humanely. So to start with guys, they are fed non-GM feed usually corn and soy, that's very important to me because I don't want them eating GM feed as I believe this comes through in the final product, the meat. I also see that they are using 20% more space with their chickens compared to the industry standard. They don't use beak trimming, which is very cruel because usually when they're in big crowds, they need their beak trim so they don't harm other chickens and stuff. They're also non-chlorine washed. However, in my research, I've found that most UK chickens have much higher welfare standards than the rest of the world, so they don't need to do this anyway. And they are pledging slower growing breeds by 2026. So that's all good. However, chickens are supposed to be outside on pasture eating bugs, worms and grass. This is the only problem with this chicken. I don't feel as though they're eating their natural diet. Even though they have room to scratch inside, that's fair enough but they're still not eating their natural diet. However, the non-GM diet is very, very important to me. They're giving them a lot more space. This can stop spread of disease, etc. So what I would say, guys, is if you wanted to buy a cheaper product, which is non-organic, but you want something that's cheaper, more affordable for your family, if you couldn't afford organic, I would go for that. It's not terrible, but I won't approve it as I will only approve the best, best-in-class products for you guys. The way to go guys with chicken is organic as i've said before that means it's guaranteed non-gm feed much smaller flock sizes around 6,000, i believe for organic 16,000 for free range and there is no limits really on the um, conventional factory farm chickens also they are outside a lot of the time organic does mean free range to a certain extent so they can do their natural behaviors like they can run around scratch perch and all the other things chickens do in the wild which is good for them also means their mental health is a lot better they're not stressed and they're not getting a lot of diseases because they're in smaller flocks and also they are slower growing breeds in organic they only allow the slower growing breeds so if you want to get chicken really i think you've got to go organic so i would buy all of the organic but make sure it's the plain chicken no marinade because the marinade comes with added sugars and ingredients you don't really want in your food so go organic and go plain when you're buying chicken here at waitrose we've even got chicken livers something most people don't eat but i would really consider this guys they are very high in selenium selenium helps with conditions such as heart disease stroke and cholesterol cardiovascular disease basically and organ meat is not the same as muscle meat so it's worth considering trying this guys and it's very good bang for your buck at three pounds so let's take a look at the free range chicken this is predominantly corn fed now i prefer chickens like the organic when they're on a more balanced diet although this is free range and it is outside probably all the day most of the day as waitress have very high standards so it's probably outside and it probably does get some bugs worms and grass however the only problem i have with this is if they are just feeding it corn it does have a different flavor and it's not a usual natural flavor for a chicken as these are meant to be bugs worms grass and insects on the outside so for me i'm all for that natural diet as completely natural as possible although they need some supplemental feed all chickens need some corn but i don't want my chickens to be fed predominantly corn like mostly corn so i wouldn't buy that one but it's still better than most supermarkets Moving on to beef now, we've got some organic beef here and it's reduced. It's £3.59 and this will feed a family this amount of organic beef and it's mainly reared on grass. And if there was any grain, it would be organic non-GMO feed. So this is the type of beef you want to be eating that's living in the most natural possible way because I believe this brings the best meat and this is how the animal is supposed to act and live in the wild. So I would definitely get this one. So let's take something like this. This is £4.40 or this is reduced to 3 69 Hereford beef steak mints. It's 10% fat, which is a reasonable amount of fat for flavour. Let's think about this, right? So even if this animal has spent 60-70% of its life on grass, then you feed it corn and soy. It's 30% of its life. It's a different animal. Not to mention that this will be fed on genetically modified products because I know this because when I emailed Waitrose they only said the chicken, turkey, 
and their farmed salmon or sorry farmed fish is the only product without GM feed so I would not buy any of these ones apart from the organic beef mints or any organic beef product what's plain not the meatballs because they have fillers yeah maybe a small amount of fillers but I still don't want that in my food when I can make it myself much much better and much much cleaner let's take a look at a ready-made product using the meat so let's look at these British beef meatballs first of all they're factory farm but the organic is pretty much exactly the same ingredients except they're using organic meat so you've got beef roasted onions parmigiano reggiano very good cheese rehydrated potato which is like processed potato you've got rice flour which can spike your blood sugar and rice can be high in arsenic you've got that horrible rapeseed oil that toxic chemical solvent called hexane extracted at high heat rapeseed oil you've also got sodium sulfate why would you want this in your food and you've got sold sodium ascorbate these are horrible preservatives not to mention the dextrose there I would definitely buy this pork. This is not factory farm, but organic pork. This is not many places. Non-GMO feed pigs are hard to find, especially where they've had some free range action as well. So I would definitely get the organic pork here at Waitrose. Definitely the best range of organic I've seen in any UK supermarket to date I've been in. So well done Waitrose, keep up the good work and keep stocking these types of products. But to put the best things in our body, we need this type of stuff available. So when it comes to bacon, it's hard to find organic bacon. This is factory farmed for GM feed and just horrible, horrible conditions. Pig farming can be a very, very dirty business. So I definitely would not buy any of this essential Waitrose bacon, even though it might be higher standards than other supermarkets. It's still got the genetically modified feed, which is always in pigs basically, and less organic. Now here they have organic bacon. It's four pounds per packet. But you've got to be careful guys, bacon is a bit of an exception because if we take a look at the ingredients on this bacon, yeah it's all good, it's organic, it's non-GMO and all that stuff. But if we take a look at the ingredients here, look we've got horrible preservatives, right? Sodium nitrate, now I've seen studies on sodium nitrate saying that the laboratory made ones, the man made ones are not that bad for you but then naturally occurring ones are the same also as the lab ones. There is no effect. I don't believe that, guys. I'm on the side of nature. So I'm all for things like celery naturally occurring nitrates, but I'm not for this chemically made stuff. I don't believe it's good for us, so I wouldn't buy that personally. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. Please like, subscribe, and share. I couldn't really find any vegan meats or anything like that what were good, but if you have any other suggestions, please let me know. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.